Hey everyone, thanks for joining me in another Raven Center online workout. My name is Mark and I'll be your instructor for this session. I'm a Raven staff member and right now I primarily teach kettlebell classes. I have a number of certifications in personal training, group fitness. A lot of my experience comes through military service, so that inspired me to get other certifications like a Spartan SGX, uh, marathon coaching, and CrossFit and other various certifications. So be sure to subscribe to CU Ravens on YouTube for all of the latest workouts. So today we're going to be doing a strength workout. It's going to be a 45 minute workout. It's going to be at an intermediate level. You are going to need a little bit of equipment. So if you have a, even a container of laundry detergent or a backpack, that'll help you just use, uh, add a little bit of weight if you don't have some weights like I have in the gym here. I define intermediate. I'm calling it intermediate because some of the movements um, are a little bit more advanced dependent on the mobility in your hips uh, and, and what you're comfortable with as an athlete. We often have multiple things going on at the same time, so you're switching from one exercise going into another exercise, and that makes it a lot harder for beginners because they're already just trying to learn um, just the basics of movement in itself, and having too many things going on at once is not a good thing for someone as a beginner. So if you are, do consider yourself a, a beginner in, in strength, this may not be the video for you. I'm going to demonstrate all exor eight exercises really quick, and then we're going to get into all of the exercise or we're gonna get into a warm-up and then get into the workout. The workout is gonna be one minute on 30 seconds off. We're gonna do each exercise for eight exercises and then we're gonna repeat that three times. So the whole thing with a five minute cool down is gonna be 45 minutes. All right so here quickly is your eight exercises. I'm gonna demonstrate with a light dumbbell just to go through it a little bit quicker. So exercise number one is called a deck squat. I'm gonna to come to the deck. I'm gonna bring the weight over my head till it touches the ground. I'm gonna come back up and I'm gonna stand. Rows, gonna be doing rows, changing arms. One arm, then the other arm. Lateral raise, I'm gonna have a slight hinge forward, back is still straight, and then come up, and then back down, change arms, up, and then back down. We're gonna switch arms each time. One arm, then the other arm. A-frame squats. I'm gonna do it on the BOSU ball, but you can do it with just a jump. What it looks like is, I'm gonna squat down until my butt touches. I'm gonna to jump up onto the ball, jump back down, squat down until my butt touches the ball, okay? Number five is a burpee clean. So if I have one weight, I'm gonna bring it up to the clean, bring it back down, do a burpee, and then come back up. Number six is a tricep push-up. Hands close together, and just work in the triceps. Number seven is a kettlebell swing. So it's gonna be just a two-arm standard kettlebell swing. <clears throat> and number eight is gonna be lunges. So if you have a weight in your hand, you're gonna be doing lunges. Coming up, we're gonna step back in this case, and then come back up. All right, so those are your eight exercises. Now, even though we're doing a minute, it's not about doing it as fast as you possibly can to maximize rep. We're trying to gain strength, so the heavier you go, the more you can slow it down and think about what you're doing, the better in this case. This is not a high intensity workout, even though it's a minute timed. Okay, so we're gonna start with a warm up just to get our bodies moving a little bit, and then we're gonna get into it. Warm up. So warm up, we're gonna start with big arm circles. So I'm kneeling down just because I'm tall, but we're gonna do big circles. Palms up in front and down and behind. Then we're gonna change directions. As we go through these exercises, during the 30 second breaks, I'll probably offer some tips in case you're having trouble or some modifications to some of the things, some of the exercises that may be a little, a little bit tough for you. Good, I'm gonna do it left to right. Good, we're gonna lay on our back <coughs> and we're gonna do clockwise or counterclockwise direction to start. 
just warming up the knees a little bit. And we're going to change directions. Good. We're going to go into front kicks and side kicks. So kicking forward. And change legs. And now we're going to kick left to right. And then change legs. Good. We're going to squat down deep. We're going to lay back, roll, and kick our feet to come back up and stand. This is a bit of a warm up for our first exercise of our deck squats because we have no weight. We're just getting a feel for it because we haven't done these before. It's probably going to be a real foreign concept. Now it'll be a little bit easier to get from here. When I have my weight in front of me, it'll be a lot easier to get onto my feet to come up if you aren't able to right now. <clears throat> That's why right now we're using that momentum to kick down our legs and stand. Come back, tap the ground, kick down and stand. That was the first progression. That would be a good one. This exercise in itself might be a good exercise for you without weight at all, bringing it over your head. Good. We're going to side lunge. A little bit left to right. As we warm up, change it a little bit deeper. Good. I'm going to kick our leg up. I'm going to bring my knee together, drive my hip forward, and then bring my knee forward. Drive my hip forward, knee forward. So just getting the hip flexor warmed up a little bit more. And then we're going to change legs. So remember, however many reps you can do in a minute, it's at your pace. Not trying to go as fast as we can. It's controlled, good movement or explosive good movement depending on the exercise. <clears throat> Definitely not a race. And maybe you'll get more reps because I have a little bit more weight to make it a little bit tougher. So it's kind of going to be dependent on what you're able to do. Good. So we're going to do a shoulder, arm on the wall here. I'm going to stretch out my chest a little bit. And I'm going to change arms. Okay, 13 seconds. I have my weight here. I have my mat here. As soon as it says three, two, one, go, I'm going to grab my kettlebell and we're going to begin this exercise together. Three. For one two, minute. Ready? One. <clears throat> here we go. I'm going to squat, come down, touch overhead. Come back up. One. Two. Eight. Nine. Three, two, one, rest. And 
Good, 30 seconds of rest. Good job. Second exercise is the rows. Bent over rows, changing arms each time. First one was a good one. Almost there. We got five seconds. Three, two, two one. one. Row. row, change. Row. Two. Two. Try not to. Don't let the shoulders slouch forward. Three. So I'm here. I'm not doing this. I'm keeping my shoulder in check. Four. Four. Abs tight, glutes tight. Support your core and your lower back. When you're going back and forth like this, it's definitely gonna do work. You wanna make sure you have those support muscles engaged to help out so it doesn't hurt. If it does start to hurt, you can do one arm at a time. Do three or four, trying to support yourself here. <clears throat> or you can get a bench or a chair, have your knee up, Three, so you have a bit more support there. One, rest. Good, all right, 30 seconds rest, good job. Already sweating, it's hot in this room. Shoulder lateral raise. So just a very slight hinge forward, not hinged enough to really need to use your lower back. Just a slight hinge forward. 10 seconds, same thing, we do the lateral raise and change hands come out the other way. Control this movement a bit, don't make it a Three, crazy swing. Two, one. Here we go. Shoulder lateral raise. One. One. And that slight hinge forward, two. It's just gonna get the rear delts a little bit. Two. Three. So it's not just the side. Four. Four. Five. Five. Six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nice and controlled, nine, ten, try not to use momentum, try to use muscle, eleven, eleven, twelve, Three, two, one, rest. All right, 30 seconds. Depending on your goals, you can go heavier. I got 12. I may go a little bit heavier in the next set just so I get a little bit less reps. And I'm looking to build strength, not trying high volume rep it. Oh, okay, next is A-frame. I'm gonna use the kettlebell in a goblet position. A-frame on the BOSU. Three, Three, two, two one. one. So again, squats, squats on so my butt hits, I come up, I come down. On Bosu, it's a bit of an advanced exercise because I can fall off any direction. It also requires a good deep, almost sumo squat position. Three, four, five. Ooh, it burns. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. The plyometric jump also makes it advanced. You can step up if you have a block or a stepper instead of jumping. Three. Okay. Rest. Woo. 30 seconds of rest. Burpee cleans. That's some big boys for this one. 10 seconds. And we're going to start with the clean and then come down into a burpee. Three, two, two. One, Run. Here we cleans. Go. One. One. 
too. Tricep push ups. Hands tight together. Down and up in the push up. Who said this one in cardio work? Lots of strength and power for some of these movements. Almost there. Three, Three two, two, one. one. Tricep push ups. Here we go. Keep going. You got it. Three, two, oh. one, rest. That's tough. Kettlebell swings. So you can use your backpack if you got one. If you don't have a backpack, you can use a dumbbell. Grip it like a, a goblet. Be careful that you don't let it go accidentally. It's a little bit harder to hang on to. Really good posterior chain. Three, two, here we go. One, KB swings. And lunges. Last exercise.
Okay. Twenty-two. Round one complete. Oh. I am sweaty mess. So, heading into round two, remember, looking for strength. Even for me right now, it's feeling intense because of the weight. Three, two. So if I take the first one. 10 or 15 seconds squats. of an exercise where I should have already started, it's okay. I'm gonna feel a little bit recovered. A lot going on in the core and lower back, so if you need more time, take more time. Three, two, don't get hurt. One, trying to keep up. Rose. Want to make sure your abs are engaged. You're getting good support. You don't want to have a rounded back right now because it will hurt you in the long run. It's really good, bad motor control to give yourself permission to round your back. Really, you should take a little break if you can or go lighter. I think it's a sauna in this room right now. I think I accidentally did a workout in the sauna. So this is when I said I go a little bit heavier on. Let's see how I feel about that now. Oh, you're doing great. Woo! Stick with me. Even if you can't do all the exercises, even if you're struggling with some, that's okay. Do the best you can. Three. If you got soup can, two, that's okay. One. Shoulder lateral raise. It's so much better for you than doing nothing. Five seconds. Three, two, one, 
A-frame squats on bossy. Cleans. Here we go. You can keep going, keep going. Three, two, one, rest. You see the sweat line growing. There's a shield behind a shield. Tricep push ups. Elbows are going to be tight to my side as they come down. Glued here, pushing so I feel my tricep as I come back out. Yes, that was a convenient break. A couple seconds, shake it out. swings. Oh, you're doing great. I know it's not easy. But the right weight doesn't matter who you are. Thank <laughs> you. 
lunges. Takes a life out of you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is far, you're doing awesome. Is it starting to be part of mental? Three, oh. two, one, lunges. <clears throat> oh, my lunge. I'm thinking about driving my glute of my forward leg. So it's not just about my quad, front and back leg. It's about my glute, my glute here, driving up as I come down. Driving up after I touch down. It's a big powerful muscle to utilize. Just over 10 minutes left of work. Five minute cool down. Stay with me. Eight minutes of work really with all the breaks. Three, two, one. Deck squats. Here we go. Got this. Oh. Three. Bench two, over rows. Here we go. Rows. So this is where we start to make mistakes because we're tired and the muscles aren't working as well especially like our core muscles to support that structure if you start to feel that don't push through live to fight another day this isn't a competition there's nothing to win lower back and core you feel like it's just not there the way you want it to be and switch to this my hand is supporting my spine and I'm going back three per side and then switching get a lot more support two one rest all right lateral raises oh I'm gonna go back down and wait a little bit. Get a little bit more control out of my race. I don't wanna swing. A little more muscular control. Woo! Three, two, one. Shoulder lateral Here we go. raise. Oh, 
nice and slow, nice and controlled. Control the way down, control the way up. Use the back of the shoulder and those delts. Make them strong, make them fierce. Three, two, one, rest. A frame squats. Seven seconds. Three, two, one. A frame squats on Bosu. Slipping off the boat ball. There's so much sweat on it. Three, two, one. Rest. Oh. Burpee cleans. Halfway through the last one. Here we go. Three, two, two one. one. Burpee cleans. Set of push ups. Three, two, one. Try some push ups. You got to try some push ups. My core is bad more than my triceps. Woo! I feel modified. So I'm gonna switch to modified on my knees. A little less work for my core. A little more for my triceps. Oh. Three, two, one. Now in sweat. Rest. 
Two more kettlebell swings. Swings get dangerous, especially with a lot of weight. Three, two, uh, one, uh, last. Uh, one more before the cool down lunges. Last one. Can you see the broken sleigh? Down and we pass out. Great job. We are done. We are gonna just see still let the heart rate come down. Let our muscles tighten a little bit before we try and stretch them. Great job. From here you want to take a whew, at least a day or two off. to recover doing kind of high intensity high intensity every day is either going to get you injured or it's going to burn you out or it's going to get you nothing so how do those rest days you know if you do something like this one day next day you're doing your stretching yoga you go for an easy run there's lots of stuff you can do you can swim or whatever there's lots of things you can do just you shouldn't be constantly doing this kind of high intensity stuff injuries come you want to stay flexible and mobile and doing this for a long time you need to rest right we broke down a lot of muscle tissue we beat up our bodies breaking down the sense of you know we we lift weights we do exercise and muscle breaks down has to build back up through recovery recovery is the result i haven't gotten any results from this workout yet when i recover the next day or two that's when things rebuild and those are the results no rest no results Okay, let's put one foot out to this side. I'm just gonna do a light stretch to this side. That was great, good job.
I'm gonna change sides. Want to join me live? 15, 15, 15, Monday, Friday, Wednesday, 4 p.m. for strength class. I'll see you there. Let's change legs. Last minute, we're just gonna lay down on our back. And we're gonna rotate over. Both shoulders touching the ground. And we're gonna bring this knee as close to the ground as you can. Stretching the lower back a little bit. Probably had a lot of work to do. Three, two, one. Your timer is complete. And we are done. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of your day.